That $3.3 million allocated by the council last night goes for long-term crime reduction spending. But there are some programs going on in the community this summer that are making a difference right now. Every Friday night since early June, scores of young people from all over the city have been playing basketball at Bethel Park. The summer's high murder months, and I uh, just want to keep them out of the way on Friday, a high murder night, and uh, just pour into them. 150 plus young men, what they call at-risk youth, all socializing, all getting mentoring and love. No violent episodes, no police runs, uh, no one who's been playing basketball has been murdered. Some 300 kids have been treated to lunch and swimming too. Just besides up here paying for them to go swimming, uh, try to feed them, man. Just, you know, we, me and bro get up here, grill some hot dogs, hamburgers. We have little snacks and things like that because, you know, you work up, burn out a lot of energy in that pool. While Mayor Hogsett and the council have found extra funding for new programs for this year and next, IMPD Chief Randall Taylor says this summer's Enhanced Community Safety Initiative and the Crime Gun Intelligence Center are scoring some victories in the fight against violence. They've done some great work with getting guns off the street and making some great arrests. They're working along with CJIC uh, to make some things happen. Chief Taylor said he's considering improved gunshot spotter technology wed to license plate readers that may be more than a year off. If we get something that would allow us to be more flexible, mobile, and agile, then I think that's what we'd like to look at. And Anthony Hampton says in August, when his Friday night basketball program ends, he's already coming up with plans for mentoring programs for the kids later this fall. On the east side, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.